Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. It is May 1st. It is crazy that it is May, but actually thank God because I'm just looking forward to the day I can travel again. <laughs> but I wanted to start this vlog off with an unboxing. I invested in a new camera bag and I want to show you guys what it looks like today. So let's do this. For all of my new viewers, I am a freelance photographer and videographer. I also have a part-time job being a content creator for a student housing company. So literally all of my like jobs and like side hustles have to relate to videography and photography. So I decided to invest in a camera backpack. I've been like looking for like the perfect one for a really freaking long time. So this is the backpack I've been using recently. It is pretty small compared to a lot of other camera backpacks out there. This is what it looks like. This is the width from the side. It's actually insane. These are all the dividers. There are so many more because obviously this backpack has a lot more space and the dividers go down pretty deep. I'm putting in a 50 millimeter just slides right in perfect i can't believe how deep these freaking pockets are it's crazy on this side we have a couple zipper pockets and um i wonder what this is i wonder if this is like the hip belt i'm gonna have to find out because i definitely want to use that hip belt i feel like that's gonna be great for my back i have pocket right here i wanted a backpack that could also fit in my 16 inch macbook because like i said i definitely want to travel with this so let's see if it fits if i didn't mention it already this backpack is made to travel with it's called the airport commuter so this pocket up here is made to just like put your phone really quickly in or a passport or anything like when you're going through security and you need to just like place your stuff in somewhere really quick the straps are really squishy and it has all these belts so i guess that wasn't the um waist belt because it already is on here i'm so excited to start using this it literally could not have come at a more better time because today i'm getting back to work i'm so excited i have my first grad shoot of the season i think i was gonna start late march unfortunately plans changed which was a hassle because we had to keep rescheduling because um of the pushback of the dates that you know Texas was reopening. Today, May 1st, Texas has officially reopened. Obviously, I'm still going to be practicing social distancing throughout my photo shoot. Um, I'm probably not going to be as physical with my client. Like if I see like a hair, I'm probably not going to move it myself. I'll just have to be more verbal. Um, but I'm just really excited to get back to work because I've been craving being able to shoot someone. I'll go ahead and link this backpack down below. I got mine on Amazon, but I think they were running out when I bought mine. So I'll try to find um, some other link or if it's still on Amazon, I'll definitely link it there because I definitely think it is easier to buy anything on Amazon. It is currently 5.29 p.m. I haven't really done much, but I did edit a video today, which is great because I'm trying to post three times a week and I have been struggling, honestly. It's a lot of freaking work. Like, I don't know if y'all realize it, but making videos, making graphics, just all of that takes so much time. And like, I feel like I never even realized how much time I spend on making a YouTube video or just making videos and content in general, but holy crap, it takes up so much time. I literally go from my part-time job, 7.30 to 3.30, to my like YouTube, influencer, Instagram, all of that, until like literally 9 or 10 p.m. sometimes in the night, it's crazy. And I just feel like I have so many new followers and I want to keep up the momentum just to be completely honest. Like I want to push out as much content as I can in this time. In the past, I feel like I've gained a lot of followers and I wasn't posting consistently and I have always regretted that. So I don't want to make the same mistake again because I definitely want to grow my channel. It's always something I'm striving for because I want this content, especially the more valuable pieces of content to help out as many people as it can so it definitely takes up a lot of time i'm lucky that like during quarantine i don't really have anything social to do um so i've had a lot of time to just like do youtube stuff and like create content which is great but now that everything's reopening it's probably slowly gonna get harder and harder which is totally fine i'm so ready to see people and i'm like so excited about tonight's grad shoot because like I'll just get that human interaction with someone other than Ryan like I love Ryan to death but I'm I just need someone else to talk to me <laughs> I did want to address something in today's video um, and 
it is unfortunate but i guess we'll start off with the most recent one i did a video trying on skims bras and the footage from like the bandeau part where it shows the bandeau and shows the bra under like the shirt is being used in an ad and it's like all over instagram and people are like sending it to me and i'm just like yeah i did not give them my permission and it seems like a really scammy website i've tried to like tell them to take it down but no one's replying i tried to facebook message them and email them no one's replying so i don't really know what else i can do because it really seems like a scammy spammy website if that makes sense like it doesn't sound like a real like person's behind it obviously there are real pe real people but i just don't know who i can contact to be like hello this is not your footage and you were like literally telling a lie because this is not your product this is a skims product and you were using it for your ad and it's just wrong i don't know why companies think it's okay to lie i like think it's so dumb like <sighs> that brings me to another thing back when i didn't have a job i was reached out to by a company to do some like modeling for social media at least that's what i thought it was gonna be at first but now they're using my photos for like ads and stuff which like i totally get because like i guess that is social media too but i signed a model release form without like even thinking twice about it because the girls were so nice and i don't know i just didn't really think anything bad would come from it but now i have seen one ad where it says something i didn't say in quotations but like my name isn't tied to it so like i went back to the model contract and it basically says like you can't really do anything unless your name is directly tied to it so like they can use quotations even though I didn't say that and put it right next to my head and like imply that I said it but like if my name's not there it doesn't like I can't do anything because I signed a contract that was very dumb on my part so that's on me but I don't know it's just like the fact that they lied like I was literally going to promote them in my what I eat in a day or not what I eat in a day but like my calorie counting video um because I was using their product and I wanted to let you guys know about it. And I really didn't want to bring this up, but I have a bunch of people DMing me saying like, oh my God, these people are using your ad. Like that's like messed up. And like, I, I just don't want it to affect my brand um, because that is something dumb that I did. And I didn't think about like all the things that could come out of it. So I did want to bring that up because, you know, in case you guys see me in an ad, one I did sign a model release form for and one I did not give them permission to use my YouTube video footage for. So in both cases it really does suck. Just my face is like tied to my brand and people see my face and then I don't know. I just don't want them to think I'm like a sellout or like think anything bad of me. Um, so I just wanted to bring that up and now i'm gonna get ready for my grad shoot i have to clean out my cards um make sure there's room to take all of her photos i actually put all of my gear in that bag flash all my lenses camera body drone stabilizer computer like it all fits in the bag it's pretty heavy but like i i knew that was gonna happen um but i'm just hyped that it can all fit in there because whenever I go travel somewhere, like I want to take it all. Like I want to create like such good content for y'all. I'm like so inspired from this quarantine that I feel like I should just be filming everything. I'm just itching to freaking create something. So I'm really excited about this grad shoot. Like I feel like I'm not normally as excited, but I'm still really excited to take photos of people. One other thing that I just thought of is that all my grad shoots were supposed to be like last month or like some this month, but now, it is so freaking hot so i'm gonna take off my makeup before i go to this grad shoot because i know i'm gonna be sweating so bad and it's only gonna get worse from here so i just feel bad for the grads because they could have done it in like better weather without all this stuff happening but now i just hope that they don't really like sweat off their makeup because that would be bad i'm gonna stop rambling and get my stuff together because i have to leave super soon i know this vlog wasn't anything crazy special but i did want to just pick up the camera and vlog for you guys give you guys some updates i totally forgot to end this vlog so i wanted to close it out and do a little unboxing during this quarantine i don't know i've just like been really obsessed with hats for some reason and i've been eyeing some on like lack of color and gg pip which is like two really big um hat brands but they are 
you know, a good investment piece. So I think I'm gonna wait to purchase them on there. But for now, I found some pretty like affordable hats. I think each of them were under $50 and I got them off of Shop Red Dress. I think they got a little fucked up in the mail, which is sad. I'll just put a book on it. But okay, this is the first one and I have been looking for something like this for a long time. This like is so sturdy. I'm like actually surprised. It does have like a little bow and I wonder if it's like detachable because I don't know, I'm not like a big fan of the bow thing and I feel like I could like add my own, like uh, what's it called, like a hat belt or something. Um, but this is what it looks like on. Unfortunately for these hats on Shop Red Dress, I don't think you could choose your size. I think it was like a one size fit, fits all. Ryan just put on the hat and it <laughs> fits in perfectly. But me, it's like, Look, it's so big on me. It's a nice dirt derby hat though. I need um I need it to like flatten. straighten out, flatten, but um I know that you can buy what's it called when they like like a hat filler so it actually fits your head. Update the white hat is even big on Ryan. So let's try this one on. This one is a little less sturdy and super cute. It doesn't have like any of the hat belts or anything. But I just felt like I wanted like a couple of hats to like accessorize my outfits. Obviously this wouldn't match this outfit, but I do want to get like a couple of straw hats. And since I got these hats more affordably, I think I'm gonna um, spend a little more on the straw hats. I did want to quickly show you guys the two hats I already own. This is from um, Shop, what's it called? Pink Lily Boutique. Um, and it is pretty similar to this one that I just got, but honestly, this is a little bit stiffer. So this is like a little bit flimsy, but still cute. Literally same vibe. So I don't know, maybe they came from like the same wholesale kind of place. And then this hat is one that I really like. I swear it was like $15 on Forever 21. And it's so cute. I like wore it uh, senior spring break, I think, yeah. And I love it. My hats are all so fucked up. I'm like the worst at taking care of my stuff. And I need to like flatten them all out. But this is really cute. But I do want um, like a nicer one of these straw hats. Because as you can see it is kind of flimsy. So I do want like a really sturdy like straw hat. And I've been eyeing some on Gigi Pip. So I'm going to link all these hats down below. Not sure if I can find the last two hats because I bought them a while ago, but I'm going to try to find them for you guys. I actually have another grad shoot tonight at sunset, so I'm going to go get ready for that. Um, it's been so nice just getting back into my groove. I just posted a photo on my photo account um, of one of the recent grad shoots that I did, and I don't know, it, it just makes me so happy. And I literally just got like two inquiries from that post, so it makes me so excited for just all these grad sessions to come. Um, but it is so hot today, so I'm going in this romper, gonna tie my hair up, and get ready to sweat, because that's all you can really do, just prepare. <laughs> so that wraps up this vlog. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!